Hey everyone, I'm with Rodney Orr from TiterInsider.com, Titer Insider TV. Of course, the big story of the day, news, sports, or anything else in the state of Alabama is Nick Saban's retirement. Rodney, just your reaction to the news that came out uh, uh, right around 4 o'clock this afternoon. Yeah, I think, you know, Gary, obviously we'd been hearing it for a long time. You and I have discussed it quite a bit about the possibility, but we really didn't think it was going to happen. I mean, I think it's one of those things that I would compare it a lot to what Coach Bryant, you know, when he retired back in 1982. It was one of those things that you knew it was inevitable, it was going to eventually happen, but you didn't really, even though it happened, you were like still stunned, and that's really the way it was. I think, you know, just stunned, to be honest with you. Well stated. Um, in terms of, of Nick Saban, he certainly earned the right to go out on top, and I would say that even though they didn't win the national championship, he went out on top. This year you went 9-0 in the SEC. You won the Southeastern Conference Championship. You made it into the college football playoff. You took Michigan to overtime. Uh, he went out. The only thing he could have done on top of that would have been to win the national championship. It was a heck of a season. No, it really was. And I, I agree with you. I, I really think, Gary, given the current climate of college football, the NIL, the transfer portal, all of these things, and then you combine that with his age, where he is in his career, it's probably a good timing, good timing for him. But also, and you don't want to ever say it's a good timing for Alabama because you never want to lose a coach of his magnitude. But it's inevitable. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. So if there's a good time for it, this might be the best timing. You and I are old enough to remember Coach Bryant's dynasty, and, and I worked for, with Ray Perkins for two years, shooting the Ray Perkins show in 85 and 86. He was a strong personality, but even he, I think, struggled in that shadow, and he bolted to the NFL when he got the opportunity following the 86 season. There's going to be another coach that has to come in here and follow Nick Saban. It's not going to be easy, and it's going to take a, a special kind of coach to be willing even to take this on. There is. There is, and I've thought about that, Gary, and, you know, but – at Alabama, period. It doesn't matter who you're following. It's going to be an enormous challenge uh, for whoever it is. Uh, you know, the expectations are off the charts here. I mean, they're unrealistic, let's be honest. But Nick Saban, uh, you know, he set those standards even higher, you know, uh, than, than what they've even been. So it's going to be a difficult challenge for whoever. But I think when you see a guy that's willing to take on that challenge, that's going to tell you he's not intimidated by it. So I think Alabama can still have great, great success. I, I just think it's going to be, you know, you want to make sure you get the right fit and a guy that understands what the expectations are and maybe how to deal with those. The first order of the business for the new coach is roster management because yeah. it's my understanding that the portal will open back up now when a coach leaves. And there will be some signees that may ask out of their letters of intent. And, of course, Ryan Williams, who's a highly recruited player, is already decommitted from Alabama. So when the new coach gets in here, and I'll ask you in a moment about a time frame, but the first order of business is going to be to take care of this roster, right? I think that is. And I think, too, uh, Gary, it's going to be really important about your, your staff mm -hmm. because you have to have a staff. And, and I think that might even make it even more important to have a coach who's familiar with some of the coaches here because – you might want to keep some of the current coaching staff, maybe a lot of the current coaches, uh, because they've been in recruiting. They know your personnel that you have, not only in terms of players, but uh, also knowing them personally, those relationships. I think that that's going to be really important. So it, to me, this is going to be a real interesting hire. And, you know, maybe it's already been made. It could have already been made because that's what I was going to say. Because of the immediacy of, of needing to get someone in here, I don't think we're going to make it to the weekend without an announcement, do you? I don't. I, I mean, I think, Gary, this is probably something that Nick Saban has kind of already laid the groundwork for for a while. And I think that Greg Byrne has probably been positioning himself to, to get the right guy. And I think it's probably already done. And so – who knows, maybe tomorrow, but certainly I think within the next two or three days. Ronnie Orr, TiterInsider.com, Titer Insider TV on Nick Saban retiring at Alabama after 17 seasons, six national titles, and nine SEC championships.